video will be dedicated to just going through some easy house plants that you could um, take care of. If you are prone to killing plants, you would do great with some of these. Um, this first plant we have here, this is Violet. She is a Moses in the Cradle plant. I actually grew her. Um, she was a propagated plant. Uh, I got her from the underground plant trade. I just got uh, some clippings and I planted her and she is doing wonderful as you can see. Um, she requires, I think I water her like once a week and she's fine. And I keep her in my bathroom so she gets steamed every day as well. Um, and I kind of rotate my plants out uh, for them to get steamed. That's something else that I do, um, but super low maintenance. That's my girl. Um, so then this is my first plant baby. This is a Venus. She is a baby rubber plant. I got her from Lowe's. She was on sale for about $4. Um, and she's super easy to take care of. Uh, just like Violet. Water her maybe once a week. I just kind of finger uh, put... <laughs> put my finger um in her soil to see to check you know to see if she needs to be watered or not um so yeah again another super super easy plant for beginners here's bambi she's obviously a bamboo plant um as you can see some of her leaves are turning yellow but it's getting cold outside um plants actually don't well like indoor plants really don't grow as much during the winter time um so this isn't very uh alarming for me but yeah this is bambi she's gotten huge like she was really small when i got her but she's doing well um just check her soil whenever she's dry i'll go ahead and give her a water um yeah another super super easy plant i won't say it's as easy as succulents because you you could mess around and kill this uh without trying but definitely still pretty much beginner friendly so um, our next plant, this is Baby Saturn. Um, he is a money plant. Uh, my best friend actually ordered him for me a while ago. Um, but he was literally just a like a, a clipping. So <laughs> he's taken a while to come up, but super easy. I keep him in the windowsill. I also water him maybe once a week. I just check his soil to see how he's doing and I go from there. He's a little dry. He's a little dry, so I probably will, will water him today, actually. Um, so then next we have Orion. Orion is an aloe vera plant, also super, super beginner fin uh, friendly as far as plants go. Um, he needs bright light, so he sits in my windowsill all day. Also, I just check his soil to see when he needs to be watered, but I water him about once a week. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but I got burned. <laughs> Uh, during Thanksgiving breaks, I actually cut a piece of him to use the aloe and he's growing back perfectly. Um, so then I also have, so I also have a trio of succulents and they are named Trinity. These again, succulents, I think you, you have, you have to be trying really, really hard to kill a succulent. Like you, you would just be having to do a lot. And you know, honestly, I got these in the mail. My friend bought them for me and I really thought they were fake. Like, and to be completely honest, I know that these two are not fake because they're getting bigger, but this one right here really has not grown that much since I got it. So I really, I really don't know if this one is fake or not. Um, I don't think a trio would include two real plants and one fake plant, but I, you know, I don't know, but you know, also super, super easy plants to have. Um, so we have my Hippolyta girl. She is an orchid. And as you can see, her roots are huge. Like they look like green beans. Um, this, I still say this is kind of beginner, but more intermediate um, because orchids are very dramatic. Uh, if you underwater them, overwater them, they will die. They will, but they will come back to life very quickly. Um, that's why I said they're dramatic. Um, so she isn't actually in bloom right now, but she does have some coming in. So hopefully these will be coming out within the next 
two or three weeks or so, we'll be having some little white blossoms going on. Um, so with this one, it's a little different from the rest of my plants. She gets three ice cubes a week instead of just water. She gets the ice cubes. Um, and like I said, it's a little more intermediate because you just kind of have to listen to orchids. She's also uh, outgrowing this. I need to put her in a bear pot. But yeah, so if you have some plants, you're like, you know, I kind of want to step it up. I don't want to get something that's like super, super hard to take care of. A orchid would be a great next step for you. So um, I hope this is helpful for you all. If you're thinking about becoming a plant mom, I highly, highly suggest it. I love taking care of my plant babies. Um, the air in my room just feels better. Like, I don't know how else to explain it. It just feels better. Um, and I'm a Capricorn, you know, nature is my happy, like my happy place. I love being outside. It's cold right now. Um, we're also in the middle of a panoramic, so I can't really be outside the way I want to be. So my plants are kind of the next best thing for me. Um, so if you are thinking about becoming a plant mom, if you are a plant mom, um, and you want to chat it up, you know, Put it in the little comment box. Leave me a question, whatever, suggestions. Um, so, yeah. Bye.